Yo, what is good everyone? DB Zoom back at you with a brand new video. For today, guys, we will be going over a team tier list. You guys have been asking me to do this video, so here it is. I've done an SP tier list. We will be going over the um game press tier list but i will be changing some stuff around and explaining why i would change some stuff around and if you guys have any comments down below of what you guys think this is why i like making these videos uh just comment down below i always like to read your guys's comments and uh fyi guys i will be going live on twitch at 2 p.m pacific time today to do uh viewer battles and some fun giveaways so stay tuned for that so really quick guys here we are we are at the z tier list i'm gonna go over um Really quick, all the teams, just very briefly, and then go back up and uh, dissect why things should be changed and why things are where they are. So, Z tier list, we have Future, we have Following by Fusion Warrior, third is God Key, fourth is Sun Family, and then S tier list is uh, Regeneration, followed by Vegeta Family, then GT, then Lineage of Evil. And then tier one, we have Female Warrior, Freezer Force, saga warriors uh, sagas uh, from the movies basically and then tier two we have hybrid saints androids ginyu force and then tier three we have frieza saga and then here's pretty much irrelevant dragon ball saga uh, team bardock and Saiyan saga as well so let's just go right back up really quick and dissect t uh the z tier list really quick with you guys so future is number one and i'm gonna have to agree with this okay i really i really wanted to change some stuff up because i want to give my own opinions but yeah, Future is definitely uh, on top, and here's why. A Z tier list basically uh, consists of offensive and defensive um, consistency on one team, and Future is the definition of that, guys. It really, really, really is, okay? So Future basically is a god key team. It's basically a god key team, but it has the Future trunks as the pivotal, um, the yellow Future raid trunks as the pivotal point of the team because this guy is extremely tanky he can he can tank your rise if you can take your rising rush away from your opponents on any given time that that team just drastic your, your chances of winning just drastically increase by like a thousand because uh you guys know i don't need to explain how rising rush works in this game it's pretty much rng but it definitely uh has a huge factor on your um on your chances of winning i'll just leave it at that okay so future trunks obviously let's just say uh you have vegeto blue out on the field and then they rise and rush your vegeto blue basically you can typically just switch into your trunks anytime you want because those 10 timer counts that he's on the bench for if he does have any timer counts it completely gets uh vanished and then you can completely just tank your rising rush uh and hopefully you can survive with that rage trunks because that's what he's meant to do is tank your rising rushes and he's also really good offensively as well because after he gets hit he gets buffs uh left and right and he's got a really good ultimate and a green card that heals okay and uh that's the tanky side of this and as well as zamasu zamasu we all know how tanky and offensive he is as well he's got cover change he's got a uh, really really good um offensive um capabilities as soon as he gets like basically whenever combo is over he he gets some pretty crazy buffs he's also got a really good uh base blast attack and as well as a crazy ultimate a long to go uh side a crazy green card which pretty much is like one of the most broken green cards in the game that i, I personally think and then you got vegeto blue i don't need to explain how offensive diabolical vegeto blue is and as well as rose if you need to bring him in because he's part of future and ella vegeta in case you want to bring that in as well so and then my on the bench to boost your health by 20 something extra percent so um yeah green my so this team yeah i would definitely agree uh, that it's number one if you give this to a good player with enough stars you pretty much rank in the top 1000 very easily okay and then fusion warriors is the second team i'm gonna have to push this down i'm gonna have to push this down below god key and here's why uh fusion warriors guys it's a great team it's a great team the only issue i have with this is that the meta right now is being ran by Vegito Blue. Let me repeat that. And I don't need to repeat that, but let me repeat that. The meta is ran by Vegito Blue. So whatever team is placed where, it determines on what, what's used in the meta, right? So um, I'm going to push this down, but, but second, I'm not even going to keep these two seconds. Second, I'm going to push Regen all the way up here on second spot. And I really am, guys. Because like I said this meta is ran by vegeto blue zenkai boo and i'm a regen user so and i'm also a god key user so uh regen guys if you have zenkai boo you can completely annihilate and i mean annihilate vegeto blue and like almost almost one full combo you can lock him in 
and then you could just completely annihilate him, especially because um, Zenkabu also does more damage versus uh, Fusion Warriors. And then not only that, Fusion Warriors should be pushed down to uh, to fourth, right? Right. So it's Future, uh, Region, God Key, and the Fusion Warrior. Reason being why is because Fusion Warriors push fourth is because, like I said, Future has a Vegito Blue, right? God Key has Vegito Blue. Uh, Fusion Warrior also has Vegito Blue, but Vegito Blue does extra damage, 30% extra damage to Fusion Warrior. So he can completely annihilate a Fusion Warriors team single-handedly. I mean, honestly, like this Vegito Blue is so broken. Like I said, I'm going to repeat myself. It's ran by the meta, right? This Vegito Blue. So this Vegito Blue can take out any Fusion Warrior with ease. And this team is just, let me guess, full Fusion Warriors because it's Fusion Warriors. So I'm going to leave it at that. So I'm going to go Future, Regen, because Regen also has Zenkai Boo. Uh, they got Android 21, which is still pivotal Z tier almost. Uh, she has amazing strike damage. Perfect Cell is great. It's great. The best, the most well-aged unit in the whole game. And then as well as you got Shenron in the mix. And then you got uh, Baby for healing and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm going to leave that at that. And uh, sorry for pop-up just happened on my screen. I guess people are following me. We just kind of ignore that. Um, okay, so there is that. Uh, and God Key, I'll leave third. I'll leave God Key third because um, it's pretty much a future team, but you got that Zenkai Beerus in there, right? And you got a couple of extra little um, uh, quirks and twerks that you could have in there, like like maybe the the blue or the uh, the purple uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta from the first year anniversary and stuff like that. Uh, you can have Whis, you can have um, Beerus, which is amazing. So uh, I'll definitely leave it at that because Fusion Warriors it, it could get kind of troublesome if you do run into a uh, Vegito Blue because your whole team is just thirty percent down uh extra damage so that's that's a very pivotal you know i mean vegeta blue already does a lot of damage so future region god key fusion war that's what i'll switch here right and then here it says sun family i wouldn't put sun family here <clears throat> sun family is basically a goku family right it's got kid goku zenkai kid goku it's got a uh, super saiyan 4 goku maybe it's got the free to play goku uh let's just take a quick look all right guys let's just take a quick look i was uh trying to look for it but here it is Hopefully this is updated on Game Press, but let's just take a look. Yeah, it's pretty updated. So we got Zenkai Goku, we got the Purple Goku, both Super Saiyan 4 Gokus basically, and then the bench is this right here. Th this team is actually really, really good. Um, yeah, I will leave it. Actually, I'll take it back. I'll leave Sun Family right there. It's actually a pretty good team with Zenkai Goku to be really honest. So very, very tanky and very offensive. Um, here I would probably bring GT up. Uh, to high S tier. So we'll leave this at here. We'll put Future, we'll put uh, Regen, we'll put uh, God Key, Fusion Warrior, and Sun Family. So I would add one more team to Z tier. And then S tier, I would keep GT up top. Uh, GT is basically almost a kind of Sun Family team. Not really, don't, don't, don't I mean, not really though, because um, uh, let's just really quick take a look. GT, there we go. It's got Shenron, um, but the pivotal unit is one of the two pivotal units. Uh, see, so both Super Saiyan Force from um, from some family, right? Which is these two, and then you also got uh, Shenron, Sen Shenron, and Baby. So, uh, so the core units is two out of three of the Sun family units. Uh, but yeah, I will leave this unit above Vegeta family for sure, and then I'll keep Vegeta family um, right after that, second in the tier list, in the S tier list, that is, right? Vegeta family, um, it's got some really good card draw speed. It's got uh, Ella Vegeta. It's got the purple Vegeta. Uh, let's just take a look so uh, we can see a little bit more clarification, right? So let's just take a very quick look. Let's see Vegeta family, Vegeta family. Let's see Vegeta family. There we go. All right, cool. So this right here, guys, is Vegeta family. Uh, you got, oh, I forgot about Rage Trunks. Oof, this seems actually pretty good if you ask me, right? So it's got Rage Trunks. It's got Ella Vegeta and it's got the uh, purple uh, trunks which is actually one of the most underrated units in the whole game i think and then it's got uh my pretty much because this is a future <laughs> team right for the for the core and uh you got this guy which is kind of outdated and um the blue uh vegeta which is also actually very underrated at this point so there's that uh very good team but i'll still keep gt over vegeta family and then here we have lineage of evil Oof, lineage of evil could be really good if you guys zenkai uh cooler to be really honest i would even push it I would even push, if you got a level 7, uh, seven Zenkai uh, cooler, I would push this up top here. Uh, so it would be uh, Lineage of Evil, and then it would be GT Vegeta Family, right? And then Regen's not in here because Regen's in the Z tier, uh, second on the Z tier, that is. And then here is a huge, pretty much a huge drop-off. We got tier 1. We got Female Warrior, Frieza Force, and Saga Warriors. 
Uh, for this team, uh, female words, you got Rebrian, obviously the pivotal point. You got Andrew 21, you got Kefla, and it's a really high strike and a tanky unit as well. So they're actually a very underrated team, female warriors. Frieza Force is pretty much a lineage of evil, kind of uh, a knockoff of a lineage of evil, so to speak, right? Uh, Sagas, uh, Sagas from the movies is actually very underrated. They're still very good. Bojack, uh, Yellow Gohan is still very good, and you can even put Jinima in there, along with the Blue Vegeta, and uh, yeah, you can get kind of creative. Uh, it's still very underrated, but I'll just leave it at that because it's aging at this point. Uh, tier 2, hybrids. I would put hybrids up top so much if... Uh, I would put them S tier if there was a, um, a lot of people with Zenkai 7 purple Gohan. Because that Gohan, guys, that Gohan, if, if you have purple Zenkai Super Saiyan 2 Gohan along with seven uh, level 7 Zenkai trunks, just those two combination, guys. Just those, and then maybe Rage trunks in there as well. Oof, that team could spell crazy scary. You can even push it to Z tier if you have those three combinations. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Not even going to lie to you guys. But that Gohan is very rare for people to get. I don't know why. Uh, it's just a very rare unit. And um, not a lot of people have them zenkai So Androids, they're pretty outdated at this point. They need a Zenkai Android 16, the green one. Ginyu Force, they're very fun. They're very good. They really are. I mean, they came out last July. It's almost been a year. They got one of the best equipments in the game as well. So I'll leave them there. Uh, Frieza Saga is pretty much a knockoff of all the others. Um, Lineage of Evil and stuff like that. Or like Frieza Force. Uh, Frieza Saga, it's, you you got Krillin, you got LF Goku and stuff like that, and full power Frieza. There's not that much you can do with here. And then uh, tier four, we got Dragon Ball Saga, Team Bardock, and Saint Saga. I'm not gonna go over these because these are just um, just fun teams. You can even add other teams instead of this, like Yellow Yellow Blue up here somewhere in tier one, tier two, and you can get kind of creative. But yeah, guys, this is gonna be the generalized video here. Comment down in the comment section below what you guys think. Uh, I did push Regent to number two out of, um, so here we have Z tier, we have Future, Regent, God Key, Fusion War, and then Sun Family. So I did switch a lot of stuff up in Z tier, guys. And uh, yeah, so just let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Have a good one. Peace.